Luke Sullivan, and here's a quick idea on how to start uh, your brain working and solving an advertising problem, okay? I find it can help jumpstart the whole concept of your process, all right? And try, so try this. Identify the central conflicts within your client's product or within the whole product category, all right? Now, by conflicts, I don't mean wars and battles and fighting and stuff, um, because I could use other terms like tensions or uh, opposites or polarities, okay? Just opposing energies of any kind, really is what I'm looking for, right? Um, love versus loneliness, right? Uh, Democrat versus Republican. Um, up versus down. The thing is, it's where these opposing energies collide, where they run into each other, where all the interesting stuff out there in the world seems to happen. It, it's, where, it, it's where the battle happens, it's where the armies collide, right? Football. It happens at the scrimmage line where the teams collide. It's at these points of collision we find energy. And it's where we find story, right? And these, these tensions, again, remember these opposing energies, they can be pretty much anything. So in every category does come with ten tensions. I'm going to take insurance. In insurance, we can identify tensions of life versus death, of uh, losing our whole nest egg versus uh, a nice retirement. Uh, complexity versus simplicity. Perhaps most interesting are the cultural tensions. There are many to explore around any and every product category. For instance, um, take America's fractured relationship with food. Um, you know, I'll take, uh, I want that uh, 55 cheese pizza with a hot dog crust, right? And then we gotta go to the gym and work it off and then try to get into skinny jeans. My friend strategist Chris Kochek says a cultural tension is the articulation of something wrong in the world something that needs changing and is addressable by the brand. It doesn't matter where we find these tensions, okay? Any tension will do because all drama is conflict, right? Every movie you've ever seen, every comic book you've ever read, every sitcom you've seen, it's all conflict. It has conflict at its core. It's protagonist versus antagonist. It's two opposing energies. Now, it may be clear how this applies to advertising, but the problem is, much of advertising, we don't start from a point of view of a story people care about. We just start from a spec sheet of product benefits that we get from the client. And the client wants us to sell their fine products and who's to blame them. That's what we have to do. But when we cut right to the products, nobody cares. Clients wonder, why can't you just take this nice positive statement, like say, fresh food means better health. Why can't you just say that, right? Is that so hard? Problem with this approach, fresh food means better health, is that it is not a problem, it's a solution. And when we cut right to the solution, we're basically cutting right to the end of the movie. And advertising starts to get boring when we cut right to the solution, okay? When we cut right to the solution in advertising, it is as if uh, uh, we're filming a movie, and we're at the beginning of the movie, we say, no, I don't want the beginning of the movie. Cut to the final scene, where everything is all wrapped up, where everything's fine, the cowboy rides off in the sunset. Problem is, when everything's okay, none of us care. As people, we rarely think that the status quo is interesting. It just isn't. The interesting part of any movie, I'll wager, is in the conflict, the setup, the beginning, in the middle. That's where the story is and not in the happy ending. So wrapping up, what I'm suggesting is this, all right? Maybe give some thought to figuring out who is or what is your bad guy. I find this is a way to tease out possible narrative structures from just a brief, right? Uh, you can do it with any product, any service, any category. It's, we're just looking for binary couplets of things that are opposites, the rudiments of story. Find a bad guy. When you do, you'll have an antagonist, and then you'll have a protagonist, and you'll have two characters on stage. After that, it really becomes just a matter of matter of pretending. Well, what if we did this? What if the guy did that? What if this says this? What if this happens? What if this happens? And you'll have something people may want to lean into. They'll want to hear what happens in your story. <laughs>